All right, what I want to show you to do right now is how to create a, a coordinate plane or axis that you need. So I'm going to go to my grid designer over here. Click on the visible to make your square show up. You can click on the plus sign if you want to make your squares larger. You can click on the minus sign to make them smaller. Okay, once you have it like this, you can also change the color. You can change it to normal, 45 degrees. Um, there's other choices. Uh, line style, you might want uh, dotted lines. I'm going to stick with solid right now. You may only want to y-axis if you want straight lines for kids to write on. This will be another option that you might want to use. Okay, let's close this. But one thing I do find very useful, if I go over here to my connectors, I can choose the line tool here. I'm going to make this one red. I can change the thicknesses of my lines by simply dragging that out or you see it makes a very fat line. So, but I don't want one that quite that fat so I'm going to undo that. But you can click on these preset sizes or you can drag it out to a large one. Okay I'm going to make the Y axis here. I'm just going to hold down one finger and drag it out with the other. Maybe an X axis. It's a little high on the side, so I'm going Okay, I'm going to label the X and Y axis by choosing my text. Click, and let's make that uh, the X axis. And we'll make one for the Y. And I'm going to mark off one, two, three, four, five. And you can add as many numbers as you want to, of course. But don't forget to save it. Once you get your graph like you want to, save it. This way, when you get ready to work problems, maybe you're graphing problems or, or even writing on it, you, you can click the reset button and it goes back to save mode. Another thing I find useful is I will sometimes come in here and put me a, a, sh a shape in here, like a rectangle, and I'll make it uh, white. And I will simply drag it out off to one side. This way it gives me a, a white screen so I can, and I'll save it like that so I can have a place to write my problem if it's a corner I won't use. Hope this helps.